Um, so this is called a fire escape in Brooklyn. It's in five parts, and um, I'll just do this and that just so you know there's a shift between the verses. It's fierce, fierce easy. Um, this is a fire escape in Brooklyn. One, benevolence. He dropped ten on the bar floor and my conscience got the better of me. Picking it up to hand it back, he almost ripped my arm off. Ah, thanks very much. Thanks, Nina. Jesus Christ, I'm about to stick that in the pocket, walk me out the door without saying anything. Do you know what I mean? Text me. Jesus Christ, I don't know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? That's grand, you know what I mean? Like, we got on talking like that for about 45 seconds, and I couldn't understand a word he was saying. On discovering you were from Los Angeles, he said the only time you would ever visit were if you were flying overhead in a bomber. I shook his hand one more time wishing I kept my mouth shut and pocketed his fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> Two, a serenade. Commuters are scared of each other, never sitting together and leaving two seats for a couple. You, one side of the aisle, me, the other, choosing the alcoholic with a stashed bottle of Jemison Irish whiskey who wasted no time pointing a yellow-tipped finger in the direction of Class Nevin, North County Dublin. That's where the Luke is buried, he said breaking into the first verse of Raglan Road by Patrick Kavanagh. An absolute lump of a woman, taking up four seats with shopping bags, hissed a shush in his direction. I wanted to get up and shush her back. Such was the beauty of this song. But in between the second and third verses, he told me of his time running the bar of the Buffalo in Camden Town, where a young Freddie Mercury once frequented. A fine fellow! Great singing voice, fine set of lungs, up to your shoulders, so he was back then. Fine singing lungs, a gay individual, mind you. But it's <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? As the train approached Leaksit Junction, he broke into the third verse of Raglan Road, interrupted only by a sip of whiskey, much to the vexation of that absolute lump of a woman. Three. Come on, we're fine. I too have sung for you Raglan Road, wandering up the back lanes of West Cork under the fire blanket of a night cloud where the oak trees align the lanes as still as ninjas and the beech trees jingle in the breeze like belly dancers darned with tiny symbols. You had never seen darkness quite like that before and gripped my hand out of sheer fear. I wasn't quite the ghost of Luke Kelly, but for all you cared I could have been singing Radio Gaga. Ah. Brushing a cold sweat from your forehead, I leaned in and kissed you where I thought your mouth was. <laughs> Four. <laughs> hmm. Ackle Island. Aren't we fierce lucky with the weather? Came the rhetoric from the woman in the sports shop as she scanned through your rain mac and wellies and my ultra lightweight, breathable, rainproof, windproof, waterproof. Motherfucker of a jacket. Fierce looking my ass. Nevertheless, we set out for Kunakliva under a charcoal sky. The weather's forecast bringing no surprises for Ireland in late August. But you were gorgeous. A windswept gorgeousness. And I was decidedly slipshod. Above us, the clouds rebuked by the mountains loitered in uncertainty like dirty, scalded dogs. Five. A fire escape in Brooklyn. You carried sand everywhere for a week. If it wasn't in the pockets, it was in the turnips of your jeans or the seams of your hair, it was everywhere. But we had looked forward so much to that day where we could park up that illegal bucket of shit at Dog's Bay and trespass its blanket of shells. That all seemed a long way off in a musty cheap hotel room in Amsterdam, you know, wiping another cold sweat from your forehead, asking you to imagine the cessation beneath your feet, to imagine the bungalows dotted along the coast and count the lights on and imagine those sleeping aside, at which point you closed your eyes, unmindful of the din or the smell of hash rising up for a cafe downstairs. That all seems a long way off now, on a fire escape in Brooklyn, counting the rungs to the ground, humming the tune of Raglan Road as the words have got jammed behind my teeth as words so often do. Thanks for listening.